You know, we recognize our Lithuanians. And, you know, you have to realize what kind of stock we are from. I recently came back from Lithuania, and, and one of the most impressive sights was the Hill of Crosses. As I approached the Hill of Crosses, you know, I know that officially it was demolished, bulldozed, maybe three or four times, five times. However, the, the people in the area told me, no, it was demolished about nine, 10, 15, or 20 times. And can you imagine that every time those crosses were bulldozed, these people just came back and stuck them back where they belonged, right in the face of the Soviets. There. And just think of it, it is those people that each and every one of you today who have Lithuanian blood flowing through your veins, they made you. You are part of them. And when we recognize our illustrious guest today, we are recognizing, as our Consul General said, every single Lithuanian in the world through their accomplishments. So now I would like to introduce Ray Ruginis to present Vito Ruginis to the National Lithuanian American Hall of Fame. How do you follow that? How do you follow that? <laughs> Hello and good evening. Standing here, I know now what it feels like to be at the Academy Awards. This is great. My name is Raymond Reginis. I am Vita's older brother, and I've also been known as, is your brother the actor? Yeah. <laughs> I've heard that question for years, and I'm sure Vitz has never been asked, is your brother the chiropractor? <laughs> I've known Vitz my whole life. <laughs> and he's been an actor since he was a kid. For example, if we got into trouble at home and my dad walked into a room, he said, who did that? What's going on here? Vitz always acted as if he never did anything. <laughs> when he got older, I think it was in teenage years, he decided to start acting like David Bowie. <laughs> I don't know if you can remember those days. He used to dress like him, look like him, but he could not sing like him. <laughs> this acting bug got, bug got into him in undergraduate school, and he eventually got accepted into the prestigious Yale School of Drama. His career has spanned 33 years. During that time, he has appeared in over 50 TV shows and approximately 50 TV and feature films. What that means is that most of you have probably seen him and maybe don't recognize him until tonight. And, you know, over the, uh, the last 30 years, Everybody has seen him at least once, I would imagine. He has played a variety of characters. Most of them are characters of ill repute. <laughs> Lawyers, hitmen, doctors, detective, pimp, even an ex-KGB. He once was a vampire. He said he has never gotten a girl. And we have estimated that he has been killed over 30% of the time. <laughs> He has done commercials. The most well-known is the White Diamonds commercial with Elizabeth uh, Taylor. He's done voiceovers. He is currently the voice in the Taco Bell commercial. He has worked in regional theaters all across the country, done plays off-Broadway and on-Broadway. For all you NCIS fans, he will be returning next season to play Arcady Kosek. So he's had quite an ex ex expansive career. He has done very well in a very competitive business. He has never won an Oscar. He's never won an Emmy. But this recognition tonight has made his family and friends very proud of his accomplishments. And he is very happy to accept the recognition of the National Lithuanian American Hall of Fame. 
So without further ado, please welcome my brother, Vito Regan. Labas vakaras, ponios ir ponai, draugais ir artimėjų. Ačiū, kad išvykote. Aš esu laimingas. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Friends, family, for coming here tonight. I'm an actor. I can talk to you one-on-one -on -one anytime. I am not comfortable speaking in public. I am going to tell you a very long story. <laughs> Hopefully, as briefly as possible. <laughs> Ignas Ruginis, Aldona Savanskaita. They left Lithuania hoping for something different, something better than an occupied Lithuania. Separately, they ended up in Wolverhampton, England. They met at a Lithuanian dance party. True, Lithuanians were the first to have dance parties. <laughs> they got married, they had three boys, a Jumantas, Raimundas, Vitatas. My father worked at Goodyear Tire and 10 years in the coal mines. My mother raised three boys. At some point, my father received a letter. And that letter came from his common cousin, Clemensas Zhukauskas. And basically, what that letter said was for the benefit of your children, you need to come to America. Ash esu laimingas. I am lucky. Two of Diede Clements' sons are here, Vladas, Bronius. So off we go. We arrive in Chicago. Clements us, takes us in. We live in his apartment while he looks for an apartment for our family. We live with him. He sets us up an apartment and my father has to decide what he's going to do to take care of his family. Achu, dear dear Clemensai. Achu, Zhukovsky. My father gets a phone call and it's from a guy and says, you need to come downtown, you're gonna to work tomorrow. My father says, yes, I have a family to take care of. I am going to work. My father goes downtown to work. He spends the day working. He comes home. He is in complete despair. We wonder why. And he said, they wanted me to be a carpenter. And every nail I nailed was crooked. And every uh, two by four I sawed was crooked. Despairing, he tried to figure out what he was going to do. The phone rings. It's the man who called him the day before and asked him to come downtown. He says, I want you to come back to work. And he says, why? Every nail I nailed was crooked and I couldn't cut a two by four straight. And the man said, But nobody tried as hard as you did. 
My father became a carpenter. He worked for 30 plus years, became a foreman with his dear friend Vito Gatchos and his daughter is here, Audrey. Uh, I used to work with my father. I had go on during the summer and I'd, I'd sweep up and clean up. And one day I was working and we were on a break. And we had a tea break. We didn't drink coffee at the time. And my father's boss showed up. And my father introduced me and said, this is my son, he's here, he cleans up. And my father's boss looked at me, I was sitting on the ground, dead in the eye, and said, if I had 20 men like your father, I'd be a rich man. So there he was for many, many years, uh, working to take care of his family. Al became a dentist, Ray became a chiropractor, and at this point, here's the sad part of the story, my mother passed away. I was confused, I was lost, I was rebellious, and I was angry. I didn't know what to do. I went to undergraduate school. I spent three years taking classes in the humanities, thinking I would go into the medical profession. After three years, I had an application for dental school in my hand. And I said, I can't do this. I switched my major to communications and public address. I said, oh, I like to talk to people. <laughs> I'll talk to you anywhere, anytime. So, my father was ooh, much to his chagrin. What are you doing? I was taking an oral interpretation class, and we had to speak poetry, and most of us did it poorly. But this fellow gets on stage, Leon. And Leon does the most moving, animated, and beautiful speech. And I said to Leon afterward, I said, why can you do that? And he says, I'm part of the theater department. Would you like me to take you there? I said, sure. So Leon takes me over to the theater department, shows me around, and there's a notice on the board, they're auditioning for Oedipus by Sophocles. I come back the next day, and I sit there in the audience for three hours watching these people do things that a kid from Cicero would never imagine one could do. I eventually auditioned, and I got into the play in the chorus. I met a man named William Rafeld, who was a great acting teacher. I spent two and a half more years at UICC. Before he got me ready to go off to a conservatory, I was accepted at the Yale School of Drama, and off I went. At the Yale School of Drama, oh, this is difficult, but I love you all for being here. I learned how to act. I learned what I was going to do for the rest of my life. Well, I'm kind of lost. But before I went to Yale, I have to mention somebody, Jonas Zhukovskas, who's not here with us anymore. Him and his wife, Irena, were my biggest supporters. At undergraduate school, they came to all of my productions. They sat in the front row. When I would come out for a curtain call, they would be there clapping and clapping and clapping. And I would say to myself, Ash Esu Laimingas. I am lucky. So I'm off to Yale. 
My father is like, my boy is going to go away from us. He's going to leave us. He's going to go far away. What is this? He wants to be an actor. He has no clue. And then another prominent Lithuanian comes into our life. Dr. Patras Kisielius says to my father, congratulations, your son is going to Yale. And coming from Dr. Kisielius, one of the most prominent Lithuanians in the community, my father finally realized that something good was happening for his son. So the next time you saw dad, he was out there doing the lawn, chest puffed out. <laughs> My son is going to Yale. <laughs> when my mother was sick, Mrs. Kisielius took care of me. She fed me lunch, she fed me dinner. She made the best hamburgers. <laughs> so now I become a professional and I get my first job. It's on Ryan's Hope. I'm playing Ace Landris. I am Marg Heldenberger's pimp. I did about 21 shows, and to the end of that run, we're sitting, we have a scene, and we're drinking wine, and Marg Heldenberger says to me, this is really good wine. And I say to her, it's a Lithuanian white. <laughs> Obviously not in the script. I called my father the day after it aired, and I said, Dad, did you see the show? And he says, yes. And he said, I love Lithuanian white. <laughs> so, pretty much, this is the story of my life that brings me to this moment and why I stand here. Because without the support of my family, without my family's support of a strong Lithuanian community, Yolieta Kisielius is here, Zhukovsky are here, I would not be standing here. It takes a village to raise a child. And why we are all here is because of the sacrifices of someone that came before us. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, National of Lithuanian American Hall of Fame, for wanting me to be part of your organization Achu Labai Ash Esu Laimingas I am lucky.